Hello and welcome. I'm Joanna. I'm Jan. And this is How We School Cha Cha. Oh, I did it this time. Finally. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello and welcome. As we said, this is How We School. I'm Joanna. This is Julian. We are um, mother and son, homeschoolers, book lovers for sure, right? <laughs> and we're so glad you're here. So we never wrapped up, we never did a wrap up of the books we read in February. So we're going to do that really quick first. And then we're halfway through middle grade March and we're going to share those books with you as well. So um, we'll start right away so that this video is not 30 minutes long and we hope you find a new book to read in your home or if you've read one of these, let us know what you thought about it. Um, all right, so do you want to start or me? You. Well, no, because we're doing... Okay, I'll start the February books that um, I read aloud to jam. Uh, the first one was Strange Worlds Travel Agency by L.D. Lipinski. And we really enjoyed this one. And we... Uh, did we order the second book? Yeah. I think so. Um, so we will be reading the next book. This was the first book in the series. This is about a girl... What was her name? Do you remember? Flick. Flick. Felicity. Felicity. Very good. Her name was Flick. And she feels drawn to this uh, travel agency in her new town. And she learns that it's a special type of agency, travel agency. And they travel to other worlds. It's very cool. Um, there is a mystery they're trying to solve. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very much. It wasn't as fast paced as I would personally like, but it was still really good and held our attention. What did you think of it? Really liked it. Put it, would I say it again? <laughs> I really, 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 really liked it. And I always find sometimes with the series that I like the second book better than the first. So that's why we're going to read the second book. Uh, the first book usually just kind of sets you up for what's going to happen throughout the series. So I'm excited. Um, so that was the first book we read in February. The second book was A Tangle of Spells by Michelle Harrison. Now this is the third book, the third, yes. In third or fourth, third, third book in the Pinch of Magic Adventures with the Wittishan sisters. They are finally, um, hmm, I don't wanna say too much because I guess you wouldn't know unless you read this book. So I don't want to spoil it. It was great. As you can tell, um, this was the third book. We've read the first, the second. This is the third. We're going to order the fourth. Um, so we're super, it, they're really fun, fun books. I love the bond of the three, the three Wittishan sisters. Um, Fliss, Betty, and Charlie. And Charlie. Charlie's, of course, my favorite. And it's just, this one was. Um, You're the Charlie voice. I'm Charlie. <laughs> Betty and Fliss. No. Betty. Betty's just my regular voice. I feel like I would be a Betty. And then Fliss talks very sweet and kind. And yeah, she's just very, you know, Fliss. <laughs> so yes, I do voices when I read. As you can see, he wants me to tell you guys the voices. But in this one, they will encounter some um, magic. I don't, there's magic in all these books. But I don't want to say what kind because it will give it away. But I will read what it says in the back. It says, a dangerous spell cast over an unsuspecting village, an enchanted painting locked away in a secret room, a desperate race to reverse the spell before it's too late. So it's pretty much that. They're trying to reverse the spell um, before it's too late. So it's super fun. And what did you think of this one? Amazing. Amazing. So those were the two books that we read together in February. Now can you show them the books you read? Oh, please. We'll start with those and I'll hold this where you're at. Well, he read this one. It's just a little picture book um, that he used to read these mad, um, mouse and mole books when he was upstairs, a beginner mouse, reader. Upstairs mouse, downstairs mole. Upstairs mouse, downstairs mole was the first one he ever read. And he really just thinks they're super sweet. So he still reads them repeatedly. And I love it because they are sweet. So obviously I can you can tell he loves these. There's a, It's a series. There's a whole the bunch first, of them. In the first one, mouse is trying to get comfortable inside a mole's home which is underground. <laughs> yes. And mole trying to get comfortable in mouse's home which is up, up, outside. Upstairs. Up, upstairs. 
too bright for mom. Yeah. Yes. And it's too dark. <laughs> and, and, the and downstairs for mom. Yeah, and downstairs. All right. Do you want to show them the books you read? Yeah. These were his independent reads. All right. Start with that one. The Witches of Brand. I'll bring it closer. Would you like me to bring it closer? Okay. And this is the third third book in the what's the series? Dragons in a bag. Dragons, dragons in a bag. Series. Dragons in a sea. Yep. Dragons in a bag series. I mean, dragon in not dragon in a sea. The dragon thief. The dragon thief was the third book. Yeah, but it's the series. No. The, the series dra is dragons in a bag. No. The Dragon Thief is the second. The second book, yeah. And this is the third one. And what did you think of this one? Amazing. Amazing. And did you like it as much as the first and second? No. No? Yeah. He told me that when he was reading it. He still loved it. He finished it. He read the whole thing. But he said it wasn't his. I think the first one was your ultimate favorite, right? Um, yeah, because even when he read the second, he was like, eh. But he still wanted um, to read this one. Okay. What else did you read? You can show all of the, these at once if you'd like. Oh, you want me to hold the side, hold it sideways so they can see these. Uh, Dog Man, Brawl of the Wild, Cat Kid Comic Book Perspectives, Dog Man, A Tale of Two Kittens, Dog Man, Mothering Heights. So he read these Dog Man books and the Cat Kids book, and well, these you. Love. He loves these, and he can read these multiple times uh, in a week because they're very, very yeah, I short. Could, I could, I could read There's them. There's not much. Five times in a day. To sometimes read on these, so yeah, he could read it like five times in a day. All right, what else did you read? Saifu. Saifu. Do you want me to hold it up for you? Me? Okay. So, what did you think of Saifu? This is a graphic novel, correct? Yes. Pretty good. Pretty good. Was not your favorite, you told me, right? Yeah, but he did like it. But again, not his favorite. It's a graphic novel. And it's, um, what was this one about? Um, a boy gets, goes to another world from an alien ship. Mm-hmm. And he's a DJ. <laughs> uh-huh. And basically. Hopefully he can do Kung Fu or something. All right. Saifu. Saifu. Love it. But it wasn't his favorite. <laughs> but he did read it. The Unforgettable. Logan Foster. My and favorite. <laughs> it was, yes, he really loved And this is the first book because it has a number one on it. And What we think. It, well, it has a number one on it, so I'm sure there's going to be a second. Um, and, and so yeah, we'll be super excited when that comes yeah. out. Um, he read this on his own. He loved it. So I need to read it and catch up with him. So what is this one about? Um, Logan is a foster. He gets adopted. Foster child. Mm -hmm. Foster child. Mm -hmm. He gets adopted. Spoiler alert. Uh oh. Skip like 10 seconds from now. <laughs> Go ahead. He gets adopted by superheroes. Okay. And it says it on the back though of the book, oh. just so you know. Uh huh. And he he has an etiquette memory, mm -hmm. like like photogenic memory. Yeah. Uh huh. And he need, and every, sometimes he says that is a fact. <laughs> this is not a fact. Awesome, and you loved it, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I haven't read it, so I can't say anything, but he loved it, which means I'm probably going to read it. And there's this part in the front. Front of the book? Oh, in the beginning. Okay, no spoilers there, right? Hello, my name is Logan Foster. You have to say it louder. Hello, my name is Logan Foster. I do not know your name, <laughs> but if you are reading this, it means I am your big br brother. That oh. is a fact. Love it. So he loved this one, and you gave it five stars, correct? Yes. yes. Okay, so now we're going to move on to what we've read so far for middle grade March. We are halfway through March, right? So let's see. Um, I'll start with mine so you can keep on reading now some more. <laughs> um, I read The Girl, The Cat, and The Navigator by Matilda Woods. Um, this is my first Matilda Woods book. I've never read any of her books, but I do have another one of her books. Um, I did this one for the five or more words in the title prompt. I bought this one based off the cover. It was a sweet book. It Don't was cute. It was buy not things off. No, I bet I've read it. But I read it. So that's a good thing, right? It's about a girl named Una and they live far north and she dreams of just being um 
on her dad's ship, as Sam, um, going to hunt uh, whales with him. But her family does not treat her very well, but she is a very strong character. It is a very good one to show like a strong character, strong female character. Um, but it wasn't my favorite. It was okay. It wasn't bad. Um, I can see how someone would like it. But yeah, it was very fairy tale, fairy tale like. So if you like like the fairy tale type books, then this would be a good one to to read. And it was super short and quick. I think I read this in one day, maybe maybe two at the most. So it was good, um, but not my favorite. But I do I do I even wrote this down. I, I love this. It said it would without a doubt be an adventure, and she had always wanted to go on one of those. So she's very adventurous, Una, and she wants so much to go on one with her dad and well you have to read to find out the adventure she went on but it was it was sweet it was sweet fairy tale like um strong female character i read a galaxy of sea stars and this was my contemporary book i read but also fits under the prompt of five or more words in the title and in this one um izzy's some things are changing within izzy's family and then um, another family moves in upstairs from her, um, a, a friend that her dad had made when he was deployed in Afghanistan. And um, the family makes things, they don't make it difficult for Izzy, but you know how it is when how she's 11 years old, you just, everything kind of embarrasses you. Everything's, you know, feels so much bigger than it is every issue, everything. So, She's just, you know, uncomfortable when he invites the, um, let me see where, yes, uh, his former interpreter's family. Um, so and she, she had, the interpreter has a daughter the same age as Izzy, so they're hoping that they'll be friends and that Izzy will help her in school. Um, but Izzy doesn't know what to make of Sitara with her hijab and refusal to eat hijab, sorry, hijab and refusal to eat cafeteria food and her presence disturbs disrupts the sea stars and the sea stars are Izzy's best friends and they've always been best friends but with everything changing in her life she's not sure if she can make her new life the new friend from upstairs and her old friends all meld together so it was a sweet book um I, it was good not my favorite but still good I am gonna probably have Julian read it because I thought it was a sweet book and I just it really is a book about you know your family and friends and um and new friends and welcoming new friends and new people into your lives and learning about them and seeing that you're really not that different so it was sweet <coughs> all right ready julian wrote to the ones you read so far from middle grammar he has done all all, my all of his graphic novels that he had chosen no i've read all of the book that books that i want to read well, uh, well, you're still listening to yeah, but I the don't other one. think I'm gonna do the year dog. No, okay, but which ones? No, because this is only three. There was five prompts. So which? Oh, I think the other one is the one you're reading right now. This is the last one he has left. Okay. The first one was "Measuring Up" by Lily Lamont and Anne Shu, and this was um, for the prompt of a book with an Asian character or taking place in an Asian country. Um, what did you think of this one? Amazing. He thought it was amazing. He loved it so much that as soon as he finished, he put it in my hands for me to read it. This is a graphic novel. Um, I really liked it. He said it reminded him of uh, Midsummer Mayhem, if you've ever read that book. But what he meant was that there was a cookie co cooking competition in this book as well, which was something that was in Midsummer's Mayhem. But it was really cute. This girl, she has just moved to the United States from Taiwan and um, they left behind her grandmother, but she wants her grandmother to come and visit them so much. And she has to keep her grades up, but she wants to do this cooking competition to earn money to get her grandmother to come. It's really sweet. Um, it's just nice and just seeing her try to fit in in her new her new home and we he really like i said he loved it he handed it to me as soon as he was in he's like mom you've got to read it stop what you're reading read it so super sweet i think he read it in one day julian yeah one day and i read it in a day as well so super sweet super cute and we both loved it i have no idea about this one so i need your help ready 
<laughs> what is this one? Nico Bravo and the Hound of Hades. This is by Mike Cavallaro or Cavallaro. I'm not sure how he says his name. So what did you think of this one? So basically this guy named Nico Bravo and this weird girl, Eowulf. Okay. And I don't know. I didn't read the book. Eowulf sits on a, on a, out on a journey to, to defeat Hades. Um, Cerberus. Mm. I don't know. I didn't read the book. Go ahead. And, um, and, um, <laughs> and he guards the gate of souls, which has <laughs> souls on the other side, which eventually <laughs> tries to conquer the whole world. Okay. And yeah. And did you love this book? Yes. Yes, he did, because he already asked me if I would get him the next one. So he did love this one, didn't you? Oh, and this was for five or more words in the title. I think five or more words in the title. Um, and then here's the last one he's read so far. New Kid. New Kid by Jerry Craft. Another, um, I can't even think, graphic novel. And what did you think of this one? Amazing. So what is this one about? Um, Jordan Banks. Mm -hmm. I don't know because I haven't read it. Goes uh -huh. to a new school, a fancy school, makes new friends, and it's hard, and it's hard enough. Um, oh, do you want to see? Yes, of course. Middle school is hard enough without being the new kid. So it was difficult for him? Did it turn out all right for him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he really enjoyed this one too. I haven't read it yet. He enjoyed it and we've actually ordered another one by Jerry Craft. Um, oh, what is it? Class Act. So he'll be reading that one as well. And this is what he chose for his contemporary. And so that wraps up what we read for the first half of middle grade March. We are current. He's listening to. Oh, what is the book you're listening to? City Spies. City Spies. Forbidden City. City Spies. Forbidden City. And that one is, he has under um, for the orphan as a main character prompt, correct? And then. We, He's also reading, um, oh, what are you reading? Julie, look at me, what are you reading? Game, Gamer Squad. Gamer Squad, and I don't... Gamer Squad, um... I don't know if that what that one was for. Gamer Squad, what um... Prompt? Oh, and he's reading, um, The Family Under the Bridge for a book that's older than him. So, I forgot about that. And what's it called? Oh, what's it called? We're both reading that. And that's it. Those are the three you're reading right now. Well, well, listening to one, I'm reading those two. I'm currently reading Falling Towers for my contemporary prompt for middle grade March. And City Spies for Orphans. Yes, that's what I said, for Orphans prompt. And so was as a main um, character. Logan. Oh, Logan. But that was last month. That was before um, middle grade March. But that would make a great one for middle grade March. Middle grade March. And he really loved that one. Um, and it was contemporary, wasn't it, too? I think so. So it would fall under multiple categories. All right. So that was um, our February wrap up and our half of our middle grade March books. And we'll come back with a wrap up when we're done with the rest of middle grade March. And we'll share that half of those books. I was trying to keep it shorter, but then I threw in the February books. <laughs> so hopefully our uh, end of the middle grade March wrap up will be shorter because it'll just be the second half of March that we'll share with you all. Thank you guys for coming. Um, let us know what you thought of these books. If you, if you enjoyed it as much as we did or if it was one we didn't enjoy so much what you thought. Um, so I, sometimes I have to let a book kind of, I don't know, sink in. I have to think about it for a few days to make sure how I really feel about it. Sometimes I think I don't like a book and then I keep thinking about it and thinking about it. I'm like, I guess I liked it more than I thought. Or sometimes I think I like a book and then I forget about it in like a day or two. And I was like, I guess it really was not something I loved. But 
All right, we hope you guys enjoyed these and let us know what you think and we hope you'll be back for the next video. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, sorry. And, and that's, that's a wrap. wrap. <laughs>